Hey everyone, welcome to Popular Cruising. I am your host Jason Lippert, here with a review of Avalon Waterway's Avalon Poetry 2. As one of the line's signature sweet ships, the riverboat has well laid out private accommodations. Be sure to stay to the end of the video for the riverboat's final pros and cons. As we usually do, let's begin by checking out the riverboat specifications. Avalon Poetry 2's value and lifestyle is upscale, placing it at the sweet spot between premium and luxury. She is part of the line's sweet ships, and was originally launched in 2014. The total capacity is 128 guests and 37 crew members, resulting in an admirable guest-to-crew ratio of 3.46 to 1. There are just three cabin categories on board, starting with Avalon Deluxe staterooms, but even these entry-level amenities are quite nice. They sit partially below the waterline, so they have limited windows just along the top edge, but they remain plenty spacious and comfortable. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to be notified when our newest videos are published. The bulk of passenger cabins on board are the vessel's panorama suites, as we enjoyed. Featuring floor-to-ceiling windows that open wide to a balcony railing. And best of all, comfortable teddy bear-proof beds are turned to face the view. The only downside is USB charging ports are available at just one nightstand. But also in the room are a comfortable sofa and chair seating area, stocked minibar for extra cost drinks, and a lengthy vanity desk with additional electrical outlets. Its ample drawer storage extends further into closet shelving, plus a safe, and there's another compartment for hanging clothes next to it. Meanwhile, taking advantage of the angled bed, the bathroom funnels out to become larger from its entrance to include premium L'Occitane toiletries, his and hers color-coded towels, and a decent-sized toilet space, complete with air freshener, as well as an equally-sized shower. Unfortunately, soap bars are no longer provided, only a wall dispenser of shower gel, along with shampoo and conditioner. Nonetheless, the highlight of the cabin is still the bed angled towards the balcony rail to take full advantage of the scenery and fresh air outside. Or for even more breathing room, a handful of royal suites are double the width, with the television that can swivel to either the size of a living area or to the separate bed, which are quite plush by the way, complete with the wonderful mattress and pillow menu. When you're ready to book your Avalon River Cruise, we recommend doing so through our sponsor, Fairy Godmother Vacations, who will magically take care of all your trip planning absolutely for free. To get a complimentary quote, just click on the link right here or call the number or email the address displayed below. Onboard activities that are publicly accessible radiate out from the central lobby and reception area, illuminated by a stylish skylight above, and inviting the guests coming and going throughout the day. There's even a side display of retail items conveniently available for sale. Before the handsome stairwell opens to the friendly and attentive front desk staff, and cruise director's corner office. Forward of which is the main panorama lounge for social gathering and observing the passing scenery. Perhaps with a potent potable and a tasty appetizer in hand. The venue stretches all the way to the front to maximize vistas when doctor sailing. And just in front is the observation lounge. For a welcome covered al fresco option for taking in the vistas. Or at the back of the ship is a similar outdoor deck overlooking the stern from the club lounge. Just be mindful, this is also where smoking is permitted. Inside, away from any fumes, is a lovely secondary venue ideal for various other activities, like grabbing a coffee and light snack. Or maybe even selecting an interesting book to read, or a board game to play with new friends. Heading down to the lower indigo deck by either the stairs or convenient elevator takes guests to the fitness center. 
The space is rather small, but still features a good variety of equipment as well as a rack of weights. Meanwhile, on the very top sky deck is where there's a welcoming whirlpool and expansive lounge chairs. Perfect for a sunny European day. Either to fully bathe in the rays or catch some shade. Or alternatively, get some walking laps in. At the very front of the ship is the Sky Lounge. For the best forward facing views. This spot is particularly great when sailing below low bridges and out on the open river as well. All of which eventually lead to several locks the ship must traverse. Always a fascinating process. Especially for gearheads like yours truly. To watch the riverboat ascend or descend to different heights as needed along the journey, as only time lapse can truly convey. Before the ship makes its way farther through such concrete expanses, it's definitely an engineering marvel to behold, and is seen many times during a week long trip. Passing below more tight clearances like a watery underpass. before leaving the towering structures behind. Of course, passengers work up an appetite after all that excitement, and it just so happens that included dining begins at the adjacent Sky Grill, with outside seating to partake in the likes of a custom burger bar for lunch, with all the toppings, sides, and ice cream to finish. As a native Californian, I naturally made myself a juicy double-double a la in and out What's more, the Panorama Bistro back inside takes advantage of the lounge space. For quick service breakfast, lunch, and even tea time. with sweet pastries to accompany. Or as an alternative to the main restaurant, dinner is available here as tapas style courses. From salads and appetizers, to soups and entrees, and of course desserts. And don't forget the attached bar to purchase premium drinks, or take advantage of complimentary house wines, beers, and soft drinks at mealtimes. Fully served by friendly staff, or also coffee self-served for free. Tasty canapes are occasionally passed out with cocktails as well. Or the previously visited club lounge is also where light snacks such as donuts and cookies can be grabbed during the day, in addition to a second coffee station. The hot chocolate here is also highly recommended, as is this cool water station for different infused varieties, either still or sparkling. The lime and ginger one is particularly refreshing. Of course, lower down is the main dining room itself, for primary breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. and yet another wonderfully scenic venue. The buffet is open for self-service meals, both at breakfast and at lunch, while dinners are fully served affairs plating several delicious courses like these. It's worth noting that while the food here is great, the selection is limited, as is expected on a smaller riverboat. 
That is, don't expect menus the size of those offered on ocean cruise ships. Even so, as you can see, there is still plenty to enjoy. Many dishes are Avalon favorites repeated from previous voyages. Usually, riverboat entertainment is equally limited. But we were pleased by not only the house pianist, but especially the outstanding guest entertainers. The likes of which I've never before seen on a river cruise. From Gypsy Jazz to Flamenco Guitar, from a band related to the Gypsy Kings no less, we were consistently blown away. So don't miss out. Last but not least, a river cruise is predominantly focused on excursions ashore, and Avalon's wide variety of included and optional tours is extensive. Whether you just want to take a leisurely guided stroll through Avignon, France, or do something more active, like say a rail bike adventure, where a steam train locomotive welcomed us. following what has to be one of the most fun tours I've ever taken on a cruise, river or otherwise. Just take a look at some of these magnificent scenes as we puddled along the historic route. You'll feel the burn in your legs, but the experience is definitely worth the somewhat strenuous effort. especially when you get to the downhill portion and mostly coast past the stunning scenery. Suffice it to say, this excursion gets two big thumbs up. Now to conclude with the ship's pros and cons, we can only point out as minor pains in the aft, a slight, albeit understandable lack of food selection, as well as the USB charging ports only available at one nightstand, and no longer offering bars of soap for those who prefer them. But standouts that can take a bow are certainly the exceptional panorama suites, laid out with beds facing the view, fantastic guest entertainers, and exciting shark excursion options. Thanks so much for watching. If you would, as it really does help support us, Please like this video with a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel while hitting that bell icon to be notified of new videos. Watch our other ones and visit popularcruising.com.